You are back on the Mountain Morning Show. So pleased to have in studio with me to my right, I have a director, Matthew Playsek. He is with the film A Portrait of Marina Abramovich. How are you this morning, Matthew? Great. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. Great. And this is actually your second time at Sundance. You yep. were here back in 2006. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah. Wonderful. What's it like to be back here the second time? It's amazing. And uh, with the absence of high altitude sickness, it's a lot better this <laughs> Much time. Much better experience. Yeah. You know, you've been there, done that, understand yeah. how to work it now, right? Yes. Okay. I mean, yeah, the hydration, <laughs> I've got it down. It's fine. Very good. Glad to hear it. Well, Thank share you. with me what your film is about. It's a very artistic approach to your subject here. Right. Uh, what's, uh, the, the title of the film is 130919, A Portrait of Marina Abramovich. It's um, a 3D short one take film. Uh, it's about six minutes long. Um, and as a, uh, a person who comes from a background in still photography, this is. Um, you know, three years into me using film as a medium, and I'm approaching portraiture in um, in a filmic, moving, moving image way. So this is the first of an ongoing series of moving portraits, okay. where I'm attempting to tell a person's past, present, and future, but also a, a person that I know personally. So there's no cutting, there's no editing, um, and also the the fact that it's 3D. You know, this uh, film, not that you can show it on air, but uh, it's uh, Marina is nude. Uh, be, I, I can get into that in more detail when we talk about mm -hmm. her uh, her craft as a performance artist. But uh, using those uh, those two elements in cinematography is I, I felt was the best way to uh, make a moving portrait of mm -hmm. a person um, without dialogue. Uh, as a as a like the, the the use of that cinematography is almost like uh, a dialogue aspect. Mm -hmm. And describe that for those more who aren't familiar with uh, your line of work and, and uh, the, the camera angles that you utilize and, and the slow movement. What were you uh, looking at? What was your goal okay. in presenting that in that way? That's a great question. The, the, the space is uh, going to be Marina's Institute for Long Durational Performance Research. She's raising money to, to build this institute that she's bought the building. It's this derelict space. And the, the, the way that I've on the cinematography, Mike Berlucci is the cinematographer, he's brilliant. Um, we approached the, the space as, as part of the portrait, so the space is as important as the person, and that's always been a, a goal of mine in an in, in image or a moving image, and to, to caress the space as if I'm, a, a, in the same way that I'm caressing her body with the camera was very important so that we see every detail of the space, and it's, um, uh, the dust and the, the the history and this derelict space that's ripe for renewal. That's um, um, uh, well, it's, it's basically I could go on for days. So yeah, <laughs> exactly. Feel free to cut me off well, in terms of a, a marina, what really drew you to her? What was it about her? You're like, I want to uh, show a side of her or present her in a way that, so that people understand her better. Yeah, or what yeah. was your goal? Well, I believe her. Mm -hmm. um, she's. Uh, uh, I've worked with her since 2006. Um, she's a, a performance artist and a, and a pioneering one at that. She's had a 40 plus year career. Um, she's no stranger to Sundance. There was a, um, a documentary called The, uh, the Artist is Present, uh, which was here last year or the year before, I can't mm -hmm. remember. Um, and it was, a, it was a then purchased by HBO and shown, shown there to, to a, an enormous um, you know, public, it's pretty incredible that a performance artist has gone this far. And over the past few years, she's been ridiculed for being uh, overexposed, you know, by the art world because she's reached out to a lot of different figures uh, like Lady Gaga and Jay Z, who have championed her craft and her um, her techniques for doing her long durational performance work, which she's been doing since you know the early '60s. And um, excuse me, is it back that far? Yeah, it's around there. Um, and working with her for this period of time, she's uh, never faltered. She's been consistent with me. And, and also, as I see her from afar, without knowing her, her career has been consistent. Her goals have been consistent to um, uh, explore the body and its limitations or lack thereof. And that's the kind of person that I find incredibly inspiring and, and um, uh, someone I want to uh, explore their story and tell it in an interesting way to someone who might not know who she is. And you, know, you don't need to know her background to see this film. It's a very, um, well, I mean, I am very happy with the way it turned out. So I can say it's, um, it's, it's an accurate depiction of her. And, and I showed it to her for the first time in an installation um, in Miami. Uh, she cried and she said, 
you got it right. Wow, I can't even yeah. imagine how uh, yeah. fulfilling or satisfying that must have been to see that or to hear that from yeah. the subject and to sense that emotion. I'm sure, I'm sure she was, uh, gratefulness may have been one of those emotions she expressed and just the ability for you to, to depict an artist uh, truthfully and in a way that uh, they, they love, yeah. it appears, must have been quite fulfilling. Yeah, completely. That was everything. You know, wow. someone in an interview, someone asked me, what do you love about the film most? And I said that I um, did the subject justice and she was mm -hmm. happy. And really, as a, someone who makes portraits of people, um, I mean, it's, it's a very personal thing. It's how, I, it's how I see someone and how I see our relationship, but still, I still want to make them happy, you know, and I want them to, to feel that they've been represented uh, accurately and in a positive way. Excellent. So last thing, uh, we have about a couple seconds left. Uh, share with me uh, the approach to the music. That oh, obviously sure. adds a very important element to what we're seeing on screen. Sure. Uh, the, the music is an original score uh, produced by Thomas Bartlett, um, a brilliant uh, uh, musician and uh, producer who I've worked with for a very long time, and uh, Svetlana Spych, who is also a collaborator of Marina's. She's um, uh, Serbian-based, and she is a historian uh, and singer of ancient Balkan music. Um, uh, Marina Bromvich is, is Serbian. So they both worked together uh, in, in past years, and I met her in Robert Wilson's opera, The Life and Death of Marina Bromovich, because I was originally going to use a piece of music from the opera. Uh, and instead, uh, we made an original piece of music, uh, and I came to uh, Thomas and Svetlana, Svetlana specifically, to uh, help me to find an ancient piece of music that was Marina's heritage, because this film is telling her past, present, and future in several different elements, and the music being her, her, her heritage. So the music um, is, uh, talks about um, death and rebirth, and that was what I was hoping that she would uh, find for me, and she did. And, a beautiful Incredible. Job. Well, where can we see this short, Matt? Well, um, that's the thing. I'm making these as, as artwork, mm -hmm. so it's an addition work that will show in installations. Um, Very good. M most, uh, uh, it's going to be in New York in May during the Freeze Art Festival. Excellent. Next for sure, but things like Very good. Uh, and I'm sorry, it's sure. it's a screening tonight, a screen tomorrow uh, on Saturday at the Holiday Theater uh, before the 3D feature, The Lady from Nagasaki by Michelle Comte. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being here, and thank you for your time. Congratulations for being a part of uh, the category there in Sundance. Once again, director, director Matthew Plasek with 130919, a portrait of Marina Abramovich. So thank you very much. We'll be right back after this commercial break. When we do, we have more music from Nikhil Karula, and then also we're going to be talking with Morris Murdoch Travel with some tips for you.